Have you ever imagined being the favorite chew toy of life's unpredictable nature? Well, I hadn't either, but today, we're going to delve into a story that's bound to make your jaws drop. Our storyteller today comes to us with a saga that has him licking his wounds, a tale of betrayal and heartache. Let's get into the heart of this cosmic drama. Imagine being with someone for over a decade and a half, married for seven of those years, sharing two kids, and riding the roller coaster of life's highs and lows together. That's our narrator's reality. But here's the twist he discovers that his wife has been having an affair with her boss. Yes, you heard it right. Not once, not twice, but three times. And she's been keeping the flames of this forbidden affair alive through texts, craving his presence even as her husband uncovered the truth. She claims it's the gravest mistake of her life, believing she's unworthy of him after such betrayal. Yet, despite the storm of emotions, our narrator finds himself in a paradox. His love for her hasn't dimmed. Their marriage had hit a rough patch, leading to arguments and hurtful words, culminating in a drunken debacle that made him question everything. Fast forward to the aftermath, and he's hit with the revelation of her infidelity. It's a blow, especially since he was just beginning to appreciate the depth of his feelings for her promising to renew their bond. But the discovery has thrown everything into chaos. She had told her boss they were separating, which complicates feelings of blame. Now, He's at a crossroads, wrestling with his love for her and the reality of their situation. He questions whether to hold on or let go, especially if her desires lie elsewhere. He's asked her outright about her intentions, whether she's seeking the thrill of new romances or genuinely wants to mend their relationship. Her uncertainty only adds to his turmoil, suspecting she might be chasing the exhilaration of new encounters. This is where we find ourselves, caught in the gravity of a relationship facing the ultimate test. Can love truly conquer all, or are some galaxies too far apart to bridge? Stay tuned as we navigate this celestial journey of love, betrayal, and the quest for forgiveness. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you won't miss any of our stellar stories. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars and your heart open to the unknown. Navigating through the turmoil of betrayal, I find myself grappling with the conundrum of whether to welcome back someone who has caused me profound hurt. It's a peculiar position, haunted by the suspicion that she yearns for the company of others yet lacks the courage to sever our ties herself. I'm at a crossroads, feeling like a shadow of the man I once was, having lost not just my sense of self but the life I cherished. Diving into the community's insights, the feedback is as varied as it is eye-opening. Accomplished ferret 70 dozen mince words, Highlighting a stark reality, I presented my wife with a choice between our shared commitments and her wanderlust, and her actions spoke louder than any words could. She's left me wondering why I'd even consider reconciliation, given her continued pursuit of fleeting desires. Hits a nerve with a poignant analogy. My love for her, despite the betrayal, mirrors a dog's unwitting attraction to something as harmful as antifreeze. Foot improvement 7624 cuts deeper suggesting that my affection is rooted more in the idealized version of her I cling to rather than the person she has proven to be. She made her choice clear, opting for her boss until circumstances forced her back to what she perceives as a safety net me. The consensus is hard to ignore. Cheaters, as Foot Improvement argues, often lack the emotional maturity to end things directly, preferring the comfort of deceit over the accountability of truth. My wife's infidelity wasn't just a breach of trust, it was a clear indication that she saw me, and our relationship, through a lens altered beyond recognition. The person I love is an illusion. A facade maintained to avoid the solitude she fears as much as I do. In an update, I reflect on the aftermath of my discovery and the journey towards self-realization. The initial shock has given way to a deeper understanding of my value, leading me to question the wisdom in chasing someone who has shown their true colors. The first month post-revelation was marked by depression and confusion, an emotional maelstrom that left me wishing for a way to fast-forward through the pain. This tale is not just a recounting of personal anguish but a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. It's a reminder that in the face of betrayal, the path to healing begins with recognizing our worth and refusing to settle for less than we deserve. The support and insights from the community serve as a beacon, guiding me towards a future where the specter of infidelity no longer casts a shadow over my life.
In the aftermath of discovering my wife's infidelity, I was engulfed by a storm of emotions haunted by thoughts battling insomnia and losing my appetite. Despite the hurt, I found myself yearning for closure, foolishly bombarding her with texts, apologizing for the affection I might have withheld, like not holding her hand enough or not gifting her flowers weekly. Her responses were sparse and seemed annoyed, adding to my turmoil. She agreed to meet for a discussion, which I approached with a mix of eagerness and apprehension. Instead of addressing her betrayal, she criticized my lack of public affection and lamented the loss of our honeymoon phase, labeling our relationship as toxic. She claimed to need time for self-love, deflecting from the real issue her cheating. Notably, she had changed her phone's password and lock screen, erasing the visual symbols of our union. Despite these revelations, I couldn't help but remain concerned for her, expressing my depressive state and how her actions had shattered me. She retorted that I was now experiencing her constant feelings, a claim that baffled me given her usually upbeat demeanor. When I learned she was supposedly sleeping in her car, my family and I offered her a safe space at home, which she declined. Her refusal to communicate further and the discovery of her being states away with the affair partner on her supposed day of rest crushed me on you. It became clear she had been staying with him, contrary to her claims of sleeping in parking lots and illusion shattered by evidence and her own contradictions. As I grappled with this pain, I continued caring for her pets out of a sense of responsibility, until the realization struck that my kindness was unreciprocated. When I finally confronted her to collect her belongings and cease contact, she lashed out, ungratefully accusing me of never supporting her and even threatening legal action over the pet's custody. This roller coaster of denial, confrontation, and manipulation forced me to a breaking point. I steadfastly refused her last ditch plea to care for the pet if I truly loved her. It was a moment of clarity amidst the chaos, a decisive step towards healing and reclaiming my life from the ruins of betrayal. The saga took a turn when she, fueled by frustration, collected the pet with her affair partner. Not long after, she found refuge with her mother. This transition sparked a flood of messages from her now on an alternate account, where she poured out apologies and expressed a desire to reconcile, emphasizing her supposed break with the affair partner, yet admitting they remained in contact. Her pleas were relentless, yet I chose to ignore them, channeling my grief into a mix of anger and determination, suspecting her motives were more about convenience than genuine remorse. Her attempts to reach me escalated, creating fictitious accounts, enlisting friends, and even involving her siblings to plead her case portraying herself as a victim of my indifference. However, once she secured her own place, her communications ceased abruptly, offering me a semblance of peace and the possibility to truly move forward. This brief respite was shattered by an unexpected message from the affair partner, laden with accusations and threats baselessly alleging years of abuse on my part a narrative starkly at odds with reality. His provocations extended to personal threats and boasts about their intimacy, igniting further outrage over the lies being spread about me. My family, who had witnessed our relationship firsthand, stood by me, equally bewildered and incensed by the allegations. In response, I attempted to address the situation with maturity, urging him to focus on their relationship and disregard the past, especially since she had been attempting to reconnect with me. His disregard for this truth only deepened the conflict, highlighting his indifference towards resolution. The ordeal has left me astounded, reflecting on the transformation of someone I once knew quiet and fun, with whom I shared dreams of marriage and family into someone capable of deceit and manipulation for sympathy, endangering not just my reputation but my family's safety as well. The abrupt resurgence of the affair partner, wielding accusations and taunts, underscores the perplexing and painful unraveling of a relationship I once valued deeply, challenging my understanding of who we were together and the reality of our demise. I chose to cut all ties and blocked her, focusing on moving forward. Despite my efforts, friends informed me she was subtly targeting me through social media, boasting about how quickly she found happiness post-breakup, a clear jab at our three-year relationship. This stirred mixed feelings, yet I pressed on, navigating the complexities of healing. One root of our breakup was my hesitation to rush into living together in an apartment when we already had a comfortable, rent-free living situation in a finished basement. Moreover, her emotional manipulation, 
threatening self-harm whenever the prospect of separation arose became a recurring ordeal. However, her demeanor shifted dramatically. She left without a word of protest or threats, a stark contrast to her previous claims of despair. The community's feedback has been a beacon during this tumultuous period. Life Yogurt Closet 98 reminded me not to base my self-worth on the actions of someone unfaithful. J.H. Daughter advised ignoring the negativity, highlighting the importance of not letting manipulative tactics affect me. Ashley Black 86 suggested legal steps to counter the threats and defamation, emphasizing the importance of protecting one's reputation against harassment and lies. The consensus is clear. Engaging with her manipulative tactics only fuels her control. The affair partner, now entangled in her web of deceit, is a reminder of the bullet dodged. Their insistence is a manipulative attempt to regain control, a cycle I refuse to re-enter. As I reflect on the advice and support received, it's evident that moving forward requires acknowledging the reality of relationships, they evolve, and not every moment is a honeymoon. True love withstands the trials of life, growing stronger through challenges rather than clinging to an idealized fantasy. I'm grateful for the community's insights, reinforcing the importance of focusing on my future, free from manipulation. As we conclude today's discussion, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more content. Share your thoughts on today's story, and until next time, goodbye from our space.